Hello everyone, my name is Yogesh and in today's lecture we will be covering Singleton design pattern. Now starting with what is Singleton, Singleton is uh, does comes under the creational design pattern category. In this uh, what happens is you create a class whose object cannot be created whose uh, new object or you can say uh, no one can no client can create a new instance of the object from outside only one instance of class is created and it is which is shared among all the clients now the question which comes is why do we require singleton like why we require a class whose object cannot be created from outside only one instance will be shared among all the clients uh, we have sometimes we do have some uh, requirements which where we want to limit the user to create the object of that class uh, or you want to uh, like that property the thing is suppose you have an example you have a DB class which is used to connect your SQL server and there is a SQL connection object and you don't want each client or each wherever it is implemented you don't want a new object of that class is created because connection is the same for all the clients so you want it to be shared among all the clients so how you can uh, do that with singleton only now there is one more example suppose you have some business logic uh, like for validating some uh, data or some calculation or getting some salary or something like you have a business logic method and you just want to get it available for all the clients and as it, it will be same all the time and the client can call it so you what you can do is you can make uh, like use the singleton pattern and make it available for all the clients and the client doesn't require to create uh, it's, it's, uh, that class instance again and again so this is how you implement the singleton now steps to implement the singleton are very simple first you have to define constructor as private access modifier so that it cannot be accessed from outside because if constructor is not available outside then no one can call it and without which you cannot create uh, like object new object and second is define all method and public or private property as static which are accessible within the method or outside the uh, class uh, make all of them as private okay now let's start with practical in this what I have is I have created one singleton uh, example sample class uh, in this I have one static private member which is count second I have declared the like this uh, my constructor as private so that it cannot be accessed outside the class and then I have created one is uh, like method which is static method and which is public uh, what it is doing it is just incrementing this static object and I have one second method which is getting me what is the value within this count variable uh, you can say property so with this what will happen is as these are static methods so uh, these will be available without creating any object and as the constructor is private no one can create the object now in this example we have these two buttons what they will do is they will be calling the hit method of the class and then they will be using get hit count method to get what is the count value now as we cannot create singleton uh, object so we cannot have a new instance of it like ob equal to we cannot create it if you try to rebuild see it gave exception okay is uh, inaccessible due to the protection level so with this uh, we will be accessing same method same variable without uh, like creating new instance so let us see what is the output now as I click here initially the value was one, uh, 0 and it incremented to 1 now let me have a debugger over there now okay now the value of count is 1 as we have initially clicked this button so it got incremented and now the value is 2 now when I am clicking this hit as they are sharing the same instance so the value of count should be incremented now the current value is 2 now if you will pass it will be 3 after the increment so this is how like uh, we are able to share the objects among both of the buttons without creating a new instance now uh, as I told you the example of database class I have just made a simple you can say a class structure suppose here what we have is we have a private connection object then we have this singleton class and suppose uh, this is the method which is returning me the connection object uh, now as this is static this can be accessed without creating the instance and this is the private access modifier for the uh, like constructor so no one can create same along with this math class suppose I have some math class where I will be passing some value and power and I want to just return that value uh, after powering it uh, just don't go in the definition the, uh, sorry I just forgot to make constructor private here so 
know this is this is all our example of singleton design partner like why do we require so, uh, it is the main reason is when you want to share something with all the clients without uh, letting them uh, create a new instance of that class so uh, singleton is the main approach so i hope uh, i make this clear to you so if you have any questions still you can contact me through my email id my website or my like phone number or my skype id you can get let me add it on the skype i will be happy to help you so keep learning stay healthy be happy